Hey guys, Derek from Bomb Socks here, back for another week of Bomb Bites, where we are feasting upon the words of Christ, and we're doing it one bite at a time. Hey, we're so excited to be back with you. Uh, I hope you guys had a great Christmas uh, last week. We we took the week off from Bomb Bites and just spent some time with family and just played, ate food, focused on family, focused on the Savior, and just had some great times. So I hope you guys had a good time with that too. We are getting ready now for this next year to start the Doctrine and Covenants, which I'm way excited about. I have always loved the Doctrine and Covenants. I have loved the church history. Uh, and so I'm excited to be able to share that with you this year and uh, wanted to set up. Now this week uh, for Come Follow Me, it says to that we're doing uh, Doctrine and Covenants section one. And we decided that we'll spend the last couple days of this week in section one, but I wanted to lead up to section one a little bit with how to study the Doctrine and Covenants because it's a little bit different than any other book of scripture. There's some cool uh, techniques and there's some cool uh, resources that we have. And then just to give you a, a couple of almost, not really warnings, but just some heads up as you're getting ready to study the Doctrine and Covenants. So those are the first three days and then we'll finish up Doctrine and Covenants section one. So for today, I wanted to introduce you to the introduction of the Doctrine and Covenants. So if you'll go to the introduction of the Doctrine and Covenants, it's right at the beginning, of course, that's why it's called the introduction. Um, and one of the things I wanted to focus on here, it says the Doctrine and Covenants is a collection of divine revelations and inspired declarations given for the establishment and regulation of the kingdom of God on the earth in the last days. Although most of the sections are directed to members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the messages, warnings, and exhortations are for the benefit of all mankind and contain an invitation to all people everywhere to hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ speaking to them for their temporal well-being and for their everlasting salvation. So that first part I want you to remember, this is the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. Uh, now, there's another paragraph here. I want you to go down two paragraphs to the third one, where it says the Book of Doctrine and Covenants is one of the standard works of the church in company with the Holy Bible, the Book of Mormon, and the Pearl of Great Price. However, the Doctrine and Covenants is unique because it is not a translation of an ancient document, but it is of modern origin and was given of God through his chosen prophets for the restoration of his holy work and the establishment of the kingdom of God on the earth in the last days. In the revelations, I love this phrase, one hears the tender but firm voice of the Lord Jesus Christ speaking anew in the dispensation of the fullness of times. So that's the second thing I wanna focus on. Now the third thing I wanna show you, and I'll bring all this together. You'll see where I'm going with this. The third thing, you go all the way down, it's to a paragraph that says, these sacred revelations were received in answer to prayer in times of need and came out of real life situations involving real people. Now, I love that, how, how this, it's kind of cool. We actually have uh, pictures of individuals that are in the Doctrine and Covenants. Like, like, we don't have real life pictures of Nephi. We don't have real life pictures of Moses. We don't have real life pictures of Isaiah. But you can go in, we do have real life pictures of some of these other individuals like Brigham Young, like Heber C. Kimball, like Parley P. Pratt, and some of these other individuals. How when we read about them in the Doctrine and Covenants, we see real life situations involving real people. Again, not that the Book of Mormon is not about the same thing, but this one you get to see pictures of individuals. And I love the, the history of that. Uh, and so with all of those things in mind that I shared with you, I want you to now pick a number between 1 and 138. I don't care which number you pick. And you're picking sections in the Doctrine and Covenants is what you're doing. And I want you to do this. I just want you to take a few minutes and I want you to go to your section in the Doctrine and Covenants. And I want you to see what Jesus Christ wants you to learn about him. Again, this is, like was said, this is the voice of Jesus Christ speaking to you. Now, this can be, you can pick any of these things. You can, you can look for his attributes, his qualities. You can see any titles or names. We're going to have a lot of fun with that this year. Uh, warnings, uh, advice, and look for, like it said, tender but firm. Uh, look for doctrines or principles. Pull out any power verses anything else that you feel is significant. So I want you to just take a couple minutes and do that. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to share with you one that I picked.
Okay, so one of my favorite sections of the Doctrine and Covenants are what's known as the Liberty Jail sections. It's 121, 122, and 123. There is so much goodness there. In fact, when we get there, I have no idea how we're going to cover everything because there's so much in there. But let me just pick one thing that shows you, I believe, the tender but firm voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. It shows you his attributes. It shows you his characteristics. It shows you everything good that is about him. Um, if you go to section 121 and you look at verse number seven. Now, this is Joseph, and we'll get into more of this when we get there. Many of you are familiar with this. If you've been to Liberty Jail or if you're familiar with this, this is Joseph languishing in one of the darkest times of his life. And he's gone through and just said, oh, Lord, where art thou? Why are we going through? Through all these things. And I love how he comes in with verse number seven. My son, peace be unto you. Thine adversity and thine affliction shall be but a small moment. And then if thou endure it well, God shall exalt thee on high. Thou shalt triumph over all thy foes. You know, what a great message to those who are going through any kind of trial or any kind of difficulty in their life right now. It shows you that Jesus Christ knows who you are. He is mindful of you and he is aware of you and he is loving and he is merciful. And he also tells Joseph through this, look, it's going to be difficult. So here's your tender but firm. He's like, look, thou art not yet as Job. Thy friends do not contend against thee neither charge thee with transgressions as they did with Job. He's like, look, things could also be a lot worse for you. And so here's where the Lord just gives a little bit of that. But that's what I wanted to show to you right here. Now, with all of that in mind, let me show you the importance of the Doctrine and Covenants from the perspective of Russell M. Nelson. And I love this picture of him spending time studying his scriptures. Uh, he not only tells us and invites us to do it, but he does it himself. During the January 2017 Worldwide Devotional for Young Adults, I challenge those watching to increase their testimony of the Savior by taking time each week to, and here's how he gives us, study everything Jesus said and did as recorded in the Old Testament. Study his laws as recorded in the New Testament. Study his doctrine, which we just did, as recorded in the Book of Mormon. And then this, study his words as recorded in the Doctrine and Covenants. And then, I promise those listening that if they would proceed to learn all they can about Jesus Christ, their love for him and for God's laws would grow beyond what they could currently imagine. And so I would invite you to do the very same thing to this year as you are studying the Doctrine and Covenants to look for Jesus Christ. Look for him. It is him speaking, so it's not going to be hard to find him. But I want you to listen for his attributes. I want you to, to look for his tender but firm voice in the lives of these real-life individuals. Anyway, I hope that helps you out in just starting off. Tomorrow we're going to get into a little bit of just some resources that are available that the church has put together that really is going to help you study the Doctrine and Covenants this year. You guys are great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for sharing. Godspeed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.